Thursday morning. Today we read the end of chapter 9 of Matthew, where it says, Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. So Jesus has compassion on the crowds. They're just like sheep. They're bah, bah. They don't have a shepherd. They don't have anybody to warn them, to take care of them, to care for them, to feed them, to protect them from wolves or anything else. <clears throat> They're just helpless. And sheep are pretty helpless. I mean, otherwise, why would a dog be able to run in circles and make them behave? It's, it's difficult. Uh, sheep, sheep are not very smart. So the crowds are like sheep. The crowds are harassed and helpless. I think a lot of people like that are, are like that today in our world. Um, they feel like they're helpless. They feel like they, they can't get ahead. They can't, they can't, it, it, the society doesn't bring what it promised them or what they thought it promised them some years back. Um, so there are all these changes going on and everyone feels kind of helpless. So we can identify, I think, with those crowds. Jesus comes to the crowds and teaches them about the law, I suppose, as he has in Matthew, uh, proclaims the gospel, says to them, you know, God loves you and God is here to set you free, and, and heals their diseases and afflictions. And in those days, particularly, having a disease or an affliction um, was kind of a life sentence. If you got sick, what were the chances you were going to get well? I mean, medicine wasn't anything like what we know. Medicine was mostly putting a towel on your head and holding your hand. Um, so, so they didn't have the things that we have, and they couldn't treat diseases that we don't even suffer from anymore because of vaccinations. Um, they, didn't, they didn't have those things, and so Jesus comes along and heals people. Um, and, and that's very important in that, time and place for him to be able to do that. And so, so that's uh, another thing that, that he does in addition to preaching. Teaching and preaching and healing are really the things that Jesus does. As we look at um, this passage, though, he says to the disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. You know, and basically says to them, we need more people to get out there and get this done. Um, there are a lot of people that would listen if we had more people who would do the talking. I remember a sermon that I heard in Princeton one time. Um, it was an African-American preacher of some note, and I can't remember who it was. Uh, he came from Washington, D.C., and he came up and he preached in chapel. And after he spent about 30 minutes talking about how they had told him, you only have 12 minutes, you only have 12 minutes, and how he... He'd uh, said that to everybody all morning. I only have 12 minutes. I only have 12 minutes. When, when he'd gone on for about 15 minutes, then he got to his message. And the only thing I remember about his message was it was from the Old Testament. Um, somewhere back there in Second Samuel or First Samuel maybe where Elijah has an axe and he drops it into the river. And the man's message was full forest, no axe. And he, he chided us and said, you can get a beautiful axe handle here at Princeton, but if you don't have an axe, you can't cut down any trees. And if you can't cut down any trees, you're not doing God any good. And that stuck with me. You know, full forest, no axe. we got to shine up our axes, yes. And then we have to get out there and use them. Uh, because the people around us here in Newton, Conover, Hickory, are the same as people everywhere. They're harassed and helpless. They're like sheep without a shepherd. They need to hear some good news, and they need to hear it in a way that, that uh, brings them closer to God. I'm not trying to be a scold. I'm just trying to say this is what we all need to do. See you tomorrow.